good day everyone today we will be discussing human reproductive system together let's make learning science fun and easy this lesson will help you become aware of your role it targets to describe the parts of the reproductive system and find out their functions having knowledge about the reproductive system will give you more sense of responsibility of taking care of yourself. My mother is female. She is the one who always takes care of us. She always cooks delicious foods. She provides everything we need. She is very loving and caring. My father is male. He is the one who protects us. He, he is also providing us what we need. He is always supportive and responsible. He supports our daily needs. Males and females have unique reproductive system to perform reproduction. Reproduction is a process in which organisms produce new organisms to avoid species extinction. In humans, sexual reproduction happens, meaning the process needs male and female parent. Therefore, it is important to study a reproductive system for us to be aware and responsible on how to take good care of it. Let's do this. Study the two pictures below. Identify if it is a male or female reproductive system. The first picture is male reproductive system, while the second picture is the female reproductive system. What is the male reproductive organ? The male reproductive organ is mostly located outside of the body. These external organs include the penis, scrotum and testicles internal organs include the vas deferens prostate and urethra what about the primary reproductive organ in female the female reproductive system includes the ovaries uterine tubes uterus vagina, accessory glands, and external genital organs. Let's do this. Identify the parts of a male reproductive organ based on the jumbled letters. You can also choose the word from the box because before choosing the word, and circle are the parts of male and female reproductive system. This is the vas deferens. This is the prostate gland. This is the urethra. This is the epididymis. This is the penis. This is the urethra. This is the seminal vesicle. This is erectile tissue. 
This is the scrotum. This is the testis. And this is the bladder. This is the uterus. This is the endometrium. This is the fimbrae. This is the vagina. This is the ovary. This part is cervix. And this is the oviduct. Parts of the male reproductive organ. The male reproductive system is composed of different organs working together to perform reproduction. The testis, plural is testes, as the primary organ is tasked to mix sperm cell that is used to reproduce new organism. Epididymis is the site for maturation of the sperm cell to develop swimming ability. The vas deferens is a long tube that connects the testes and the prostate gland for the pathway of the sperm during ejaculation. Seminal vesicle is the organ responsible for the secretion of fluids containing fructose, mucose, and prostaglandins. Prostrate gland is the reason of the smell of the semen, which is due to alkaline fluid that neutralizes vaginal acids. Urethra is the part of the system that conducts semen, sperm with other fluids, to go outside the body through the penis. Let's do this. Fill in the boxes of the flowchart with correct word showing how the semen is released from the male reproductive system. First is from the organ testis. Then to epididymis, to vas deferens, to seminal vesicle, and then go to prostate glands and urethra. Prostate gland is for alkaline fluid. Testis is for Perm. Seminal vesicle is for mucus. Vas deferens is for tube. Urethra is for penis. And epididymis is for storage. Parts of the female reproductive organ. The female reproductive organ is primarily responsible for the production, maintenance, implantation, and elimination of egg cells. The ovary is where the egg cells get matured and is released.
fimbrae sweeps the matured eggs to the fallopian tube or ovitac. The egg goes to the uterus, wherein eggs may be either fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or eliminated by means of menstruation. During implantation, the part called endometrium aligning in the uterus thickens to do the process. Vagina is the passage going to the uterus. It is where penis is inserted and menstrual blood goes out. Let's do this. Fill in the boxes of flowchart with correct word, part of the female reproductive system showing how egg matures and being fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or goes out on the body in the form of blood. The first step is from the ovary to fimbria to fallopian tube to uterus and to vagina vagina is for penis insertion uterus is for egg development and the metrium is for lining for egg implantation Fimbria is for sweeping the eggs. Fallopian tube is for path toward uterus. Let's do this. Write MR if the word is a part of the male reproductive system. Otherwise, write FR. In case the part can be found in both system, write both. Urethra is MR. Uterus is FR. Erectile tissue is MR. Ovary is FR. Vas deferens is MR. Epididymis is MR. Endometrium is FR. Ureter is MR. Scrotum is MR. Uterus is FR. Penis is MR. Cervix is FR. Testis is MR. Oviduct is FR. Vagina is FR. Prostate gland is MR. Seminal vesicle is MR. Fimbria is FR. Urinary bladder is both. Ureter is MR. Let's do this. Label the parts of the male and female reproductive system. This part, number one is urinary bladder, number two is urethra, number three is penis, number four is scrotum, number five 
is erectile tissue. Number six is seminal vesicle. Number seven is prostate. Number eight is vas deferens. And number nine is testis. Number ten is fallopian tube. Number eleven is cervix. Number twelve is urinary bladder. Number thirteen is urethra. Number fourteen is fimbri. Number fifteen is ovary. Number sixteen is uterus. And number seventeen is vagina. Let's do this. Both males and females have roles in the community. These roles are observable in your parents, especially in your father and your mother. Complete the boxes below to describe the roles of your parents in your family. My father, like my mother, are like a pillar that supports our development of emotional well-being. We look for him to lay down the rules and enforce them. He provides us a feeling of security both physical and emotional. My mother plays a critical role in our family. She is the light of the home for us. She loves us with all her heart and she always understands us. She nurtures us and takes care of our well-being. It is very important that you know your sexuality because it will make you know your responsibilities. Knowing your sexuality is the way to accept yourself. No matter what your sexuality, we are individual that needs protection, respect, and love. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.